Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Best in the Burrow with another episode of uh, Modern Warfare 3 Kill Confirmed. Um, this is also another recording from a midnight release. Lately I've been pretty busy, um, just been trying to play the game, trying to uh, prestige, trying to get some good videos, and I've been getting a lot of, a lot of cool things, a lot of sniper stuff, a lot of free-for-all. Um, but in this video I thought I'd take a, a little more serious of a of a note and talk about some some real things in, in real life um today while i was at work i ended up uh bumping into these parents of a, a guy i went to school with and played football with and i proceed to ask them if if they are indeed his parents and how he's doing and uh the father proceeds to tell me that he is pa he has passed away um it, it had been like about six years ago now but I was unaware. Um, we weren't good friends, but it was just a—it was an awkward situation. <coughs> um, I felt bad because I didn't know, and I'd asked, and I could tell it was a little um, hard on his family. Um, but you know, it kind of just—it kind of made me re—re re look at a lot of different things because, um, as of right now, um, a guy I was good friends with—he is incarcerated at the moment. He is in prison for um, I'm not sure how much how much longer. Um, I'm in the process of writing him a letter to you know let him know that people are still out here and do still think about him and everything. And you know when he gets out, I still will be his friend. Um, and the weird thing is, I got another guy. Me and him both hung out with every day, talking about just hanging out, playing basketball, going to the clubs. Hollering at girls, all the all the fun stuff of your twenties and everything, and uh, he's passed. He was murdered about, I believe it's going on four years ago now. Um, the case is still, um, it's still unsolved. I don't think the police really care, which is very, which is really sad. But um, I definitely think that's that's kind of the the projection that they're giving because four years and never once have they really had any good leads or anything um i've seen several articles in the newspaper talking about his case and talking about how you know his family was wanting answers and you know it's just it's just really weird because kind of like this match you know i start off kind of i start off kind of slow i mean i believe in this match i start off one and three but you know i end up turning it around i ended up going 21 and 10 and you know it's kind of like how life is you know you never know where you're going to end up um you know where you start but you know if you keep trying i think and if you keep just really pressing and not letting anything stand in your way and nothing really holds you back and you try to keep a good a good mentality and kind of positivity about you you know um i'm not one to really consider myself religious like that uh, I do believe, I believe kind of strongly in karma. I also believe, you know, that whatever you do to toward people comes back to you. You know, if if you act a certain way toward me, I'm going to act a certain way back toward you. I take people as they come. I don't care who you are, what you look like, where you're from, what you wear, what you drive. I don't care about any of that. It's all about how you present yourself. It's all about how you approach me. If you come across as a cool person and, you know, you're about some real shit, I'll be about it with you. But if if you're a fake hater and you never have anything good to say about anybody, I have nothing I have nothing for you. Because in real life it doesn't matter. I don't have time for a little petty shit, you know? You never know when your last day is. Um I'm, I'm sure my good friend, I'm sure he didn't think he was going to be murdered that day. I highly doubt he did, because if he did, I don't think he would have put himself in that situation. And, you know, me and him were really tight. He was kind of like a brother to me. There was a lot of different things I could go to him about and discuss, and he would give me an honest perspective on it. He would give me his honest opinion, despite whether if it was what I wanted to hear or not. But... It was always good advice. He was always somebody I knew I could turn to. I mean, there were times when I was really struggling, and this dude would reach into his pocket, and he would give me money. 
That's just the kind of person he was. So, you know, he was only 31. Um, I'm, I'm quickly approaching that myself. So it kind of just, you know, resonates a little more now because it's personally, it's personally a little more um, invested now, you know. It's been four years. I uh, still miss him a whole lot because we were real good friends. I mean, we hung out every day. <coughs> Every day we were hanging out together. We kind of lost touch somewhat just because we each got wrapped up in our own lives, had our own things going and stuff. That's how it is, you know. But when you have true friends that really will, you know, have your back and help you out and stuff like that, you got to you gotta let them know you're there. You know, you got to let them know you're willing to do just as much. Um, I'm sure a lot of people right now are kind of, kind of surprised I got a little deep and a little real with you, but I figured it was kind of time for one of those kind of commentaries, some things I really wanted to talk about, um, this is your first time on my channel, I hope this isn't something that deters you, most of the time they're, they're light hearted and a good time, but this time it's some real, real life shit, so I do appreciate everybody watching, videos wrapping up, as I said, Final KD is 21 to 10. <coughs> also be sure you rate comment like and subscribe the buttons are at the bottom thanks